another video. If you're new, welcome. What's up? Go watch all my other videos. And if you've been on my channel for a while, what's good? <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a simple makeup look like I always do. But this one is going to be in detail, close-ups. We're just going to get to the point. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like paying for that soft glam look. You know, they be charging about $75, $65 for a soft glam. Still don't understand why, but that's makeup artists in their business. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way and the best way to beat your face in the crib for free. <laughs> so before you watch this video and you think it's about to be sweet, no. You got to make sure you have the right foundation shade, the right concealer shade. Go to Sephora and the workers will help you out. They will help you find the right shade for your skin. So for this simple glam, I'm just going to move the camera up a little bit so we can get a close up in detail. Okay, so this is close enough. I'm child. So first thing first, you want to prime your face. You always want to prime your face because you don't want your eye bag showing at the end of the night and you don't want your smile creases to be showing neither. So I'm going to be using e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer and I'm just going to prime my face real quick. So yeah, you're just going to go ahead and prime your face. So now that you're done priming your face, you're going to get your foundation shade and so, alright, I'm sorry guys, I'm talking to y'all like y'all been taught it, <laughs> but this is in detail. So you're going to get your foundation shade and you're going to put it all over your face. So now that you got your foundation on your face, you're going to blend until your wrists fall off because this is foundation. This is the first applicant. You have to make sure that it is flat on your face so that when you put the concealer, everything is up to date, okay? So we're just going to blend this out real quick. Blend this out. So I go in circular motion because I feel like the foundation is actually melting into your skin while you're going in a circular motion. <laughs> no way. I know you guys are going to be asking. So this is the Morphe foundation, the shade 120. And I love this foundation because it does not transfer. It is matte. Oh my God. So now that you got your foundation on, do y'all see how dark the foundation is compared to my actual skin? That's crazy. But my face is darker than my chest. Y'all already know that from previous videos. So for concealer, we're going to be using LA Girl Pro again because, and I also want to use this in this video because when it comes to simple looks and beginners with makeup and soft glams and how to beat my own face, LA Girl Pro concealer is the most affordable concealer and good concealer that you can start with. You can get this at any local beauty supply store or CVS or Walgreens. I think they all sell it, but yeah. This concealer is fire, so we about to use it. I used it in my KKW video. I used my KKW body foundation as a foundation, and it came out fire. And I used this concealer to be my face, so I'm just going to use this same concealer. Honestly, I might just have to switch back to using this again because I'm over here going into all these different brands and I be forgetting that this is where I fell in love at. So, <laughs> Aaliyah J put me onto this. Aaliyah J put everybody onto this concealer. Like, if you saying she did it, something wrong with you. I'm gonna apply this. Yo, I be chatting. So we're gonna apply this concealer. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys. I'm not gonna fast forward. I'm gonna show you guys because that's what other YouTubers be doing. They don't really want to show you guys the real deal. So I'm just applying it with this brush because it's already formed into a blending format. So that's how you apply concealer. So when it comes to blending out your concealer, that's when it's a little bit hard and annoying. I use this brush right here with this, like this is how it's shaped. And 
this brush right here helps me when it comes to blending my concealer because it's just so soothing. Look, let me show you. So when you start off with the ends, it's already blending out. So you're just going to go smoothly to the ends only. You see the outcome? You don't got to do much. Now you're going to get a little brush and you're just going to blend out inside. Super soft, gently. Look up if you have to, <laughs> to get underneath them eyes. So yeah guys, all these brushes that I'm using, if you were to go on Amazon or anywhere that sells brushes in a pack, they will have these little tools in there. Or even judge your brushes when you get them. When you're watching YouTube videos, you see how I'm using something like this. When you order your brushes and you're looking through the set, just find something similar. It don't even have to be the same exact brush. Okay guys, so number one rule, when you blend your foundation and your concealer, you want to make sure nothing looks uneven. Like right now, I'm looking, in my, I'm looking in my mirror right now and I see that my forehead is not really blended. You want to blend until your wrist fall off. I told you that. You want to blend until your wrist fall off. You can't really feel your fingers. <laughs> You want to OD, okay? Alright. So, I'm going to um, I'm gonna set my face using... Listen, I'm not here to tell y'all what I'm using. Y'all want to see what I'm using? I use the same products in every video. Like, go watch some of my other videos. But this one is all about beginners and making sure that you set it correctly. You put it on your concealer correctly. So, to set your face, you want to put... Well, this is how I do it because <laughs> a lot of people they be baking like and when it comes to baking and it's time for me to wipe off the axis powder I be I don't be blended like come on I'm just gonna tap away like this gently you want to even go on top of your eyelid So for your nose, you're just going to go right down the middle like this, where you put your concealer line. For your forehead. Everything is in circular motion. <laughs> oh, I'm going to even do my lashes on camera because... um. You guys don't know how to do it if you're searching this video. <laughs> We're going to do it. So you're going to let your face set. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. Sometimes I don't even let my face set. Like I just put the setting powder and then I just wipe it off. But we going to let it set today. So you're going to go in any palette that you have that has a dark... Well, if you light skin, you know, you're going to take your shade. But <laughs> if you dark skin... You're going to take this dark brown or any dark brown that you have in any palette. And Oh yeah, so this brush right here, I'm just going to show it to you guys so that when you order your pack of brushes, it could look similar to this or similar to this. Anything that can go in circular motion to contour your face, it'll do. So I'm going to use this right here and I'm just going to show you guys circular motion. So after you contour your face, you're going to go, I advise everybody that's watching this video to go to Kiss 
in the beauty supply store section and get this face powder right here because this works miracles I feel like without this face setting powder you won't be able to have that finished look so this right here I would love to leave my makeup just like this but I'm gonna have to wipe the access powder off so to, to wipe the access powder off I'm gonna be using this I keep saying beauty by kiss but it's not beauty by kiss it's kiss New York like so I'm gonna use this and I'm just going to wipe off the access powder just like this you're not forcefully brushing the makeup brush on your face you're just basically tapping away this is how I do my makeup you always want to cut your crease because it just makes it look like you contoured you know <laughs> So other than highlight, this is it. I'm just going to contour my nose just a little bit. I don't like contouring my nose, but when I don't contour my nose, my makeup do look a little bit weird. I'm just going to do a little bit. Just a little bit. So now for eyeliner. This is a natural beat. This is what y'all pay for when y'all go to them makeup artists and they be like, oh yeah, $75. And y'all be like, all right, it's lit. <laughs> no, like, do it yourself. All right, so eyeliner. I don't know if I'm going to zoom in for this. I don't know. I feel like y'all can see me. So I'm just going to, you're going to get a mirror. You're going to look down. You're going to look down. And you're just going to apply the liner. Just make sure your hand is not shaking. It took me a long time for me to do my liner without my hand shaking. Okay guys, so now that you added your liner, you're going to go into any eyeshadow palette and just take a black and put it underneath your eyes. I feel like without this... This is how I do my makeup, okay? I'm going to keep saying this because not everybody do their makeup the same. Okay, guys, so the face is practically done. I look crazy, but on my lashes. So now we're going to put on our lashes. I'm still using hair glue because there's no rules in makeup. Um, when I apply my lashes, I make sure I have a mirror. I look down. And I just make sure I can see, you know, just watch what I'm doing. So both lashes are on and now we're going to put on highlight. I don't like the way my lashes sitting though. It's making me look cross-eyed. Don't y'all hate when y'all put y'all lashes on wrong? And it just looks cross-eyed, you know? I feel like it don't look good. Like but I'm too lazy to take it off and put it back on because what if I take it off and put it back on and it looks even worse. So we just gonna leave it as it is. So for highlight... Highlight brush. This highlight brush comes in a pack of brushes if you buy a pack of brushes. No, I don't like this highlight brush. But this is what beginners do. <laughs> there it is. This little cute brush. And I've been using it for highlight. And it always makes my highlight look good, you know? So, you know? Like that. So I'm just going to line my lip. Alright, alright. 
something really wrong with me. Um, this is the final look. This is what I call a simple, soft, glam beat for free. You know, you don't gotta go pay no local makeup artist. That's over here taking your bread. I remember when soft glam used to be $40, $45. If I was a makeup artist, and I was, you know, have and I had clients and everything. I would be the only makeup artist that's charging forty-five or fifty dollars for a natural beat. All these makeup artists charging seventy-five, sixty-five, eighty-five. I feel like that is really high for a sort of glam. Like I know you got clout. I know you have a high platform and everything. But when you think about the money, you don't really go nowhere. You just sit where you. You always gonna be where you at. You know, can't really think about the money if it's your passion. If being a makeup artist is your passion and this is your dream, this is what you want to do, it's all about collaborations and networking and working with people. It's not about the money. Back to the beat. This is what I call a soft glam beat for free, guys. Watch this video. Um, make sure you have the right foundation shade, concealer shade. Um, I feel like you do need the right setting powder shade, too, because when I first started doing my makeup, I was using Sasha Buttercup, and it was extremely yellow like on my face and I thought that that was what I was supposed to be doing you know I was supposed to be setting my face baking my face that's just what I did and it was wrong so yeah always make sure you have the right setting powder shade the right everything so everything could be perfect so I really hope I helped a lot of you guys with this video on how to do a natural beat at home and yeah continue getting on YouTube and try to do it yourself. Nobody got time to be giving up bread like that. You know, we ain't got it. So we gotta make it work. Thank you for watching me. I really hope this video helps you out. Bye.